uh, first and foremost. And I can certainly understand why golf was the focus and remains to be the focus today. It's because it is such a sport that requires uh, awareness, sharpness, a relationship with yourself to be able to truly kind of manifest the game that you want, but understand your tendencies in terms of what is happening as opposed to what you want to happen and how you bring those two together. So whether it's the physical component or the skill component or the mental component, they're all important. They all play a role. So yes, I definitely play, you know, I work with a lot of uh, novice athletes, you know, individuals who are just playing, as you said, the club championship, or just they want to enjoy the round playing with their friends or their spouse. And so that's wonderful. Because as I said, I think it's important to kind of invest into all the different areas. Recognizing that how we think Mm -hmm. really transforms how we feel. And how we feel really takes space into our body. And then it affects everything from our swing to our ability to be mobile. Um, Our thoughts manifest everything. And so if we just invest more time uh, into how we think. I would say that it doesn't hurt to just do one session where you get an athletic assessment. Uh, you know, I, I find that a lot of people who are kind of uncertain of the world and they, you know, they come with an abundance of questions, but no matter how you answer the questions, those questions stem into other questions and there's a big confusion. Once they've had the opportunity to just do one session where they receive an athletic assessment, they are able to then recognize, wow, one session, fill out some intake forms and look at the abundance of information that's come out that is for the most part incredibly accurate in terms of who I am, how I play, what my challenges are, and just where the future comes from in terms of what I'm capable of achieving if I were to continue on this path versus here are the shifts that need to be made and this is what you will see in return. Uh, so again, I always encourage people to just do one assessment and from there you'll kind of have your eyes opened up in terms of what the possibilities are. But outside of that, you know, there's a lot of great literature out there now in terms of what sports psychology is specific to whatever sport it is that you're working in. Um, and once you open one up and you read it, it should help you recognize that there's so much control that you have as an individual in terms of what changes you can create. Mm -hmm. And certainly, you know, books are fantastic. Yes. Um, It's not going to give you the full capability because it's meant for the masses, but it will certainly help open up your eyes in terms of what's possible and what others are doing, whether they're professionals or they're just casual golfers, for example. I would say, you know, that the third part is really look at yourself in terms of your sport and life and then try to bring the two together. So, you know, the the other day when we were chatting, I said, ask yourself, I'm a fast walker on the golf course. Do I walk fast in life? Am I a fast eater? Do I walk fast on the golf course? Try to see how much of what's happening in your life actually transfers onto whatever sport that you are playing positive and negative. And if you're able to see a correlation between the two, recognize that it's not your sport that you're facing. It's you. And if you can come to see yourself and recognize, be aware of what it is that requires more attention from you, then you will likely be able to create positive changes in your sport as well. So thank you very much, Masa, for sharing your few thoughts and tips with everyone. (laughs) And thank you for your time for joining us. So there will be her contact information below as well. And feel free to reach out to Masa and also on her website for more information if you have any questions on mental coaching. 